In linear algebra, a Q or decomposition of a matrix is a decomposition of a matrix A into a product or equals a Q or of an orthogonal matrix Q and an upper triangular matrix O R. Q or decomposition is often used to solve the linear least squares problem, and is the basis for a particular eigenvalue algorithm, the Q R algorithm. If A has n linearly independent columns, then the first n columns of Q form an orthonormal basis for the column space of A. More specifically, the first k columns of Q form an orthonormal basis for the span of the first k columns of A for any one A A per mil k A per mil n. The fact that any column k of A only depends on the first k columns of Q is responsible for the triangular form of R. Definitions, square matrix, any real square matrix A may be decomposed as where Q is an orthogonal matrix and R is an upper triangular matrix. This generalizes to a complex square matrix A and a unitary matrix Q. If A is invertible, then the factorization is unique if we require that the diagonal elements of R are positive. Rectangular matrix, more generally, we can factor a complex Ma, N matrix A, with Ma a per mil beta N, as the product of N Ma, M unitary matrix Q and N Ma, N upper triangular matrix R. As the bottom rows of an mar, n upper triangular matrix consist entirely of zeros, it is often useful to partition r, or both r and q. Where a 1 is an r, n upper triangular matrix, 0 is an r, n 0 matrix, q1 is mar, n, q2 is mar, mar a a n, and q1 and q2 both have orthogonal columns. Golub and Van Loan call q1 a 1 the thin q a factorization of a. Trifethan and Bau call this the reduced Q or factorization. If A is a full rank N and we require that the diagonal elements of R1 are positive then R1 and Q1 are unique, but in general Q2 is not. R1 is then equal to the upper triangular factor of the Kolsky decomposition of AA, QL, RQ and LQ decompositions. Analogously, we can define QL, RQ, and LQ decompositions with L being a lower triangular matrix. Computing the Q or decomposition, there are several methods for actually computing the Q or decomposition, such as by means of the Gramme-Euro-Schmidt process, householder transformations, or Gibbons rotations. Each has a number of advantages and disadvantages. Using the Gramme-Euro-Schmidt process. Consider the Gramme-Euro-Schmidt process applied to the columns of the full column rank matrix, within a product. Define the projection. Then. We then rearrange the equations above so that the s are on the left, using the fact that they are unit vectors. Where. This can be written in matrix form. Where. Example, consider the decomposition of. Recall that an orthogonal matrix has the property. Then, we can calculate by means of Grammer Euro Schmidt as follows. Thus, we have. Relation to a Q decomposition, the a Q decomposition transforms a matrix A into the product of an upper triangular matrix A and an orthogonal matrix Q. The only difference from Q or decomposition is the order of these matrices. Q or decomposition is grammar Euro Schmidt orthogonalization of columns of A, started from the first column. Our Q decomposition is grammar Euro Schmidt orthogonalization of rows of A, started from the last row. Using Householder Reflections A Householder Reflection is a transformation that takes a vector and reflects it about some plane or hyperplane. We can use this operation to calculate the Q or factorization of an M by N matrix with ma a per mil beta N. Q can be used to reflect a vector in such a way that all coordinates but one disappear. Let be an arbitrary real M-dimensional column vector of such that for a scalar I plus or minus. If the algorithm is implemented using floating point arithmetic, then I plus or minus should get the opposite sign as the KTH coordinate of, where is to be the pivot coordinate after which all entries are zero and matrix A's final upper triangular form, to avoid loss of significance. In the complex case, set. Stuart and Bullerge 2002, PA 225, and substitute transposition by conjugate transposition in the construction of Q below. Then, where is the vector T? A is the Euclidean norm and is an M by M identity matrix, set. Or, 
if is complex, where, where is the conjugate transpose of, is an M by M householder matrix and. This can be used to gradually transform an M by N matrix A to upper triangular form. First, we multiply A with the householder matrix Q1 we obtain when we choose the first matrix column for X. This results in a matrix Q1A with zeros in the left column. This can be repeated for all euro squared, resulting in a householder matrix QA euro squared 2. Note that QA euro squared 2 is smaller than Q1. Since we want it really to operate on Q1A instead of all euro squared we need to expand it to the upper left, filling in a 1, or in general. After iterations of this process, is an upper triangular matrix. So, with, is a QR decomposition of, this method has greater numerical stability than the grammar euro schmidt method above. The following table gives the number of operations in the KTH step of the QR decomposition by the householder transformation, assuming a square matrix with size n. Summing these numbers over the null AA1 steps, the complexity of the algorithm is given by. Example, let us calculate the decomposition of. First, we need to find a reflection that transforms the first column of matrix A, vector, to, now, and, here, and, therefore, and, and then. Now observe. So we already have almost a triangular matrix. We only need to zero the entry. Take the minor, and then apply the process again to. By the same method as above, we obtain the matrix of the householder transformation. After performing a direct sum with one to make sure the next step in the process works properly. Now, we find. Then. The matrix Q is orthogonal and R is upper triangular, so A equals Q R is the required Q R decomposition. Using Givens rotations, Q R decompositions can also be computed with a series of Givens rotations. Each rotation zeroes an element in the subdiagonal of the matrix, forming the R matrix. The concatenation of all the Givens rotations forms the orthogonal Q matrix. In practice, Givens rotations are not actually performed by building a whole matrix and doing a matrix multiplication. A Givens rotation procedure is used instead which does the equivalent of the sparse Givens matrix multiplication, without the extra work of handling the sparse elements. The Givens rotation procedure is useful in situations where only a relatively few off-diagonal elements need to be zeroed, and is more easily parallelized than householder transformations. Example, let us calculate the decomposition of. First, we need to form a rotation matrix that will zero the lowermost left element. We form this matrix using the Givens rotation method, and call the matrix. We will first rotate the vector. To point along the x axis. This vector has an angle. We create the orthogonal Givens rotation matrix. And the result of now has a zero in the element. We can similarly form Givens matrices and, which will zero the sub diagonal elements and, forming a triangular matrix. The orthogonal matrix is formed from the concatenation of all the Givens matrices. Thus, we have, and the QR decomposition is, Connection to a determinant or a product of eigenvalues, we can use QR decomposition to find the absolute value of the determinant of a square matrix. Suppose a matrix is decomposed as. Then we have. Since Q is unitary. Thus. Where are the entries on the diagonal of R? Furthermore, because the determinant equals the product of the eigenvalues, we have. Where are eigenvalues of? We can extend the above properties to non-square complex matrix by introducing the definition of QR decomposition for non-square complex matrix and replacing eigenvalues with singular values. Suppose a QR decomposition for a non-square matrix A, where is a zero matrix and is a unitary matrix. From the properties of SVD and determinant of matrix, we have, where are singular values of Note that the singular values of and are identical, although their complex eigenvalues may be different. However, if A is square, the following is true. In conclusion, QR decomposition can be used efficiently to calculate the product of the eigenvalues or singular values of a matrix. Column pivoting, 
QR decomposition with column pivoting introduces a permutation matrix P. Column pivoting is useful when A is rank deficient, or is suspected of being so. It can also improve numerical accuracy. P is usually chosen so that the diagonal elements of A are non-increasing. This can be used to find the rank of A at lower computational cost than the singular value decomposition, forming the basis of so-called rank-revealing QR algorithms. Using for solution to linear inverse problems, compared to the direct matrix inverse, inverse solutions using QR decomposition are more numerically stable as evidenced by their reduced condition numbers, Parker, Geophysical Inverse Theory, CH 1.13. To solve the underdetermined linear problem where the matrix A has dimensions and rank, first find the QR factorization of the transpose of A, where Q is an orthogonal matrix, and A has a special form. Here is a square right triangular matrix, and the zero matrix has dimension. After some algebra, it can be shown that a solution to the inverse problem can be expressed as where one may either find by Gaussian elimination or compute directly by Ford substitution. The latter technique enjoys greater numerical accuracy and lower computations. To find a solution to the overdetermined problem which minimizes the norm, first find the QR factorization of A. The solution can then be expressed as where is a matrix containing the first columns of the full orthonormal basis and where is as before. Equivalent to the underdetermined case, back substitution can be used to quickly and accurately find this without explicitly inverting. Historical notes, the QR algorithm for the computation of eigenvalues, which is based on the QR decomposition, is considered to be one of the ten most important algorithms of the 20th century. It was independently discovered by an English computer scientist John G. F. Francis and Soviet mathematician Vera Kublinovskaya in 1961. See also, polar decomposition, eigenvalue decomposition, spectral decomposition, matrix decomposition, Zappa Euro SAR copyright P product, Iway Sword decomposition, references, ABCLN Trefethen and D. Bau, numerical linear algebra. Golub, Jean H. Van Loan, Charles F., Matrix Computations, Johns Hopkins, ISBN A978-0-8018-5414-9, A. Horn, Roger A. Johnson, Charles R. Matrix Analysis, Cambridge University Press, ISBN A 0 521 38632 2A. Section 2.8. Press, W. H. Tukolsky, S. A. Bettling, W. T. Flannery, B. P. Section 2.10. QR Decomposition, Numerical Recipes, The Art of Scientific Computing. New York, Cambridge University Press, ISBN A978-0-521-88036. Stewart, Joseph. Bullish, Roland, Introduction to Numerical Analysis, Springer, ISBN A0-387-95452 ZAM. External links, Online Matrix Calculator Performs QR Decomposition of Matrices. Lipak uses manual gives details of subroutines to calculate the QR decomposition, Mathematica uses manual gives details and examples of routines to calculate QR decomposition, Alglib includes a partial port of the Lipak to C++, C, Delphi, etc. EigenQR includes C++ implementation of QR decomposition. Inter contains an open source implementation of QR decomposition in C++.